When can a severely malnourished child be safely discharged from the hospital? There are specific criteria for that. So four options are given. Child attains his height for age. Child reaches his ideal weight for height. Child loses edema, starts gaining weight and child attains weight for his age. So what are the criteria that you are supposed to remember? So what are the discharge criteria in a SAM child? So there are four sets of criteria which have been defined. First of all, there should be weight gain from the baseline of at least 15% and daily weight gain. This weight gain should be from the baseline and daily weight gain should be at least equal to or more than 5 grams per kg per day. Right? Secondly, there should be no edema and child should have a good appetite. Thirdly, that the mid upper arm circumference value should be above 12.5 centimeter or if you do a weight for height, it should be above minus 2 standard deviation. Right? It should not be ideal, it should be above minus 2 standard deviation, that is good enough. And four, there should be no infections, no complication and the child should be immunized for age. These are the discharge criteria. Now have a look at the option. Height for option A. Height for age is not a criteria, so that will be ruled out. Child attains his weight for age. Weight for age again is not exactly a criteria. Child reaches his ideal. Ideal ne chahiye, it should just be above minus 2 standard deviation. Loses edema, yes, there should be no edema, and starts gaining weight, daily weight gain 5 grams per kg per day. So again, all the four options if you look at, they are not perfect options. But the best answer among these options given is option number C and that is your correct answer.